Traga 3A, standard four gas calibration. Gas is required, 2.5% methane, 50% LEL, 100 parts per million CO. 100% methane by volume, hydrogen sulfide, 25 parts per million, and the regulator and cal hose. For a propane application, 1.1% propane, the regulator, and the yellow cal adapter, and the Tracket 3A instrument. Start by turning the instrument on in a gas-free environment by pressing and holding the A button until the screen illuminates. As the instrument goes through its warm-up, it's going to display the date. If the date is incorrect, we need to correct it before we perform calibration. If the instrument was due for calibration, it would say Cal Do and display each gas individually. Auto zero, each gas will either pass or fail, everything passed. Now we're going to let the instrument warm up for five minutes before we attempt calibration. Before we attempt calibration, we always want to check and make sure that the instrument will pass a flow block test. To check for flow block, just put your finger over the inlet. In three to five seconds, the instrument should display flow block indication. If flow block cannot be achieved, make sure this filter is screwed in tight to the inlet fitting. If it is, try to replace this filter and check for flow block again. If the instrument still does not flow block, contact sense it. There is a possible internal leak in the instrument. Once the instrument has warmed up for five minutes, you're going to want to go ahead and manually zero it to zero all the sensors. Press and hold the C button. Until the instrument displays auto zero. If the date and time were incorrect, just simply press and hold the B button until it displays user menu. Press your C button once, set clock will appear, and press your B button. The first segment flashing are your days. To adjust your days, just simply press and release the B button until you get to the desired day of the month. Press your C button. Your month will flash. If this is incorrect, simply press and release your B button until you reach the desired month. Press your C button. This will be the year. If the year is higher than our current year, simply press your A button and it will default back to 2009 and press and release your B button until you get to the current year. Press your C button. The next segment will be your hours. If those are incorrect, just use your B button to scroll to the correct hours. Press your C. This is your minutes. Press and release your B button until you get to the desired minute. And finally, the last segment is your seconds. It's not very critical uh, trying to get it down to the seconds. So whatever's being displayed there should be more than adequate. Just press your A button until you get back to the work display. We're going to want to go ahead and zero the instrument right before calibration. So go ahead and press and hold the C button. As 
So now we're going to press and hold RB, enter into the user menu, press and release the C button until Cal appears, press your B button. And the first thing it's going to ask us for is the 2.5% uh, by volume. We're going to want to perform the auto cal. So go ahead and screw the regulator onto the 2.5% by methane, 100 ppm CO. Turn the regulator to the on position. And press the B button. At this point, attach your cal adapter. which is a female-female fitting, and attach that to your external filter. There are two sensor calibrations that occur during the 2.5% methane calibration. First, the high volume or TC sensor, followed by the LEL sensor. It is now performing the LEL sensor calibration. going to ask you to attach the CO 100 ppm and since we are using a combo gas bottle uh, which contains 2.5 percent methane 50 LEL uh, and also all the 100 ppm CO in the same cylinder it automatically detected that and continued on with the CO calibration. Now we're going to attach the H2S so we're just going to unscrew the regulator from the combo gas bottle Attach our 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide. And during this calibration, if it does fail to calibrate on H2S, uh, it's very rare for an H2S sensor to go bad. Uh, the first thing you always want to suspect is the calibration gas itself. Um, if you look at the bottle, uh, there is an expiration date on the cylinder. Make sure that the gas is not expired. We never want to calibrate any part of the instrument with expired gas. Uh, H2S, it's not the most stable gas and it will tend to go bad um, prematurely. It can go bad prematurely. It's going to ask us to attach our 100% by volume methane. So just disconnect the H2S. And connect 100% by volume. and calibration is complete. So go ahead and disconnect your cal adapter from the external hose assembly. Turn your calibration gas off. Press your A button twice until you exit to the work display. Press and release your A button to mute the alarms. And we're going to allow the instrument to clear for a few minutes.
And for the Traga 3A, it's not uncommon to see the LEL uh, after calibration hang around the uh, you know two to four percent range LEL. So what we're going to do in a gas-free environment, we're just going to press and hold our C button until it displays auto zero. And if everything passes auto zero, we can go ahead and shut the instrument down. Just simply press and hold the A button until power off is, is displayed. And this instrument will purge for 10 seconds before it shuts off. And calibration is complete. For propane applications, once the instrument has run for five minutes in a gas-free environment, press and hold the C button until the instrument displays auto zero. Press and hold the B button until it displays user menu show time. Press and release the C button until Cal appears. Press and release your B button. Cal Auto Cal will appear. At this point, attach your regulator to your 1.1% propane bottle. Attach your yellow cal adapter to the regulator and attach your calibration pigtail to the cal adapter. Press and release your B button. It will ask you to attach 1.1% by volume propane. Attach the gas to the external filter. These numbers are just raw outputs of the sensors. They do not represent gas readings. Two calibrations will take place here for propane 1.1% by volume, one for the TC and one for the LEL. <whistles> Disconnect the yellow cal adapter from the calibration pigtail. and disconnect the cal adapter from the regulator. Attach the CO 100 parts per million to the calibration pigtail. Disconnect the 100 ppm CO from the regulator and attach your 25 parts per million H2S, hydrogen sulfide.
calibration is complete. Disconnect the pigtail from the external filter and turn off your regulator. Press your A button twice. It will exit to the work display. Just press your A button to mute the alarms. And once the instrument clears, normally it takes a couple minutes, two, three minutes. Go ahead and press and hold the C button until the instrument displays auto zero. Everything passed. And press and hold the A button until the instrument displays power off. And the instrument will purge for 10 seconds and power off. Now we will simulate a bad calibration. If the calibration fails, it will display failed and beep until you acknowledge it by pressing a button. By pressing a button, it will move on to the next gas. If you press it again, to the next gas, and again to the next gas. Any instrument that fails to calibrate on any portion should be taken out of service and contact Sensor Technologies.